Hey guys, welcome back to Rail Cheat 74 today, and also welcome back to another unboxing video for today's episode. Now, if you guys remember from the last couple of episodes that I made, I mentioned that I'm still on the hunt for more of the Union Pacific 60 inch streamlined passenger cars from MPH because I'm still adding on to the George W. Bush engine that I currently have in the collection. And as luck would have it, I just received another package today from trains.com. So hopefully this is definitely one of those cars. And also if you guys remember the last car that I purchased had black trucks on it. So hopefully this one will have the silver trucks this time around. So that way we can better match the trucks that are on the baggage car. So let's not waste any more time and getting on with the show today. We'll go ahead and bring this on over to the workbench. We'll open it up and we'll take a better look at what we found. So let's go ahead and get on with the show. Okay, so first things first, we need to open the box. That's where my little handy dandy hobby knife comes into play. And considering that it's not so much of a nice day out today, what better way to um, stay inside and do an unboxing here? So as always, we want to make sure we cut away from ourselves because we don't want to injure ourselves, of course. Didn't mean to hit the water tower, but I guess that might be a good thing for the non-Red Sox people out there. Here we go. Open the flaps. We'll take the packaging out or the paper. There's some of my parts here. We'll get into that at another time. And here we go. Another little Mohican to add to the collection here. Let's get a nice view of the box and the packaging. Look on the side here. It says Union Pacific 60-inch streamlined coach car, numbered 30-6702. So let's go ahead and take this out of the box and we'll get a better look at it. And it looks like this one definitely has, whoops, let's put that down for a minute. plastic cover off and it looks like I was right this one indeed does have the silver truck frames here we go let's get a much closer look at the car itself we have the diaphragms let's go ahead and take the foam out of them let's go ahead and take the foam out of each side I should say But just look how beautiful that looks with the silver on the bottom. So pretty much the exact same car that I bought the last time, only this time, like I mentioned, we have the silver truck frames, which will match up perfectly with the casket car for the George W. Bush. So now let's go ahead and put this out on the layout. And again, as luck would have it, I have the George W. Bush out with me here on the train table right here. So let's go hook this up with the rest of the set and we'll get a better look of how it looks. Okay, so now we have the car placed on the layout with the rest of the set here. And I gotta say, it looks pretty cool. And considering that the silver on the passenger car matches up perfectly with the silver on the casket car, I think it makes the set look 10 times better. Although I did say before, I wasn't really too worried about having things looking too prototypically. I, would just, I just really wanted to have more of these cars, period. And the only other thing that I have to do with the set here is to add little figures inside both of these passenger cars. And don't forget, you know, George W. Bush's funeral train is part of a really big historical document. So you don't want to be adding little passengers that look out of place to a train set that's really big on our part of America's history. And as for the other car that I bought from Trains.com the last time, I'm probably going to have to repaint those truck frames silver as well. 
But in the meantime, that car is going to act as my observation car. And until I can find an observation car or another dome car to go with the set, I'm going to be taking a break from collecting more of these cars in the meantime because I've got other things to worry about. But as for right now, I really hope that you all have enjoyed watching today's video. I'm going to end the episode today with a little running session. So I really hope that you all have enjoyed watching. As always, my name is Mike. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell down below for any other project that I upload. But until next time, thank you all for tuning in and hope to see you all in my next video. And also, just before we go ahead with the running session, I do also want to mention that there's going to be another unboxing session coming up. So make sure to stay tuned for that. But as of right now, let's go ahead and get on with the running session and I hope to see you all next time.